What's up, guys? It's your boy, Tiny. If you're new to the channel, please like, subscribe, hit the bell to get the notification so when I post new content, you're the first one to see it. And in this video, I take you with me and my wife as we go to Retro Rick's first ever retro gaming convention slash nostalgia convention in Conway, Arkansas. It's also conveniently five miles away from Retro Rick's Game Point. That's this video. Hope you all enjoy and enjoy the sight and sounds that we got to see and experience while we was there. All right, so we are 10 miles away. This is my first ever gaming convention. I know if it's mine, it's Aaron's. Uh, I really don't know what I'm looking for. I kind of thought of some games in my head that I want to pick up. But I just want to drink in the moment and live in the moment. And I'm going to record stuff for you all so I can relive these memories. They're supposed to have video game actors there. Uh, a car museum. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle band's going to be there. And there are going to be some stupid rare games that are going to be here that I've never seen before and may never see again. So come with me for the ride. So I knew they wouldn't have shirts big man certified, so I had my own made. We're about to pop this bad boy on. That's a pretty good line for the first one he's ever put on. There's the entrance. guys so i'm walking back in i'm fixing to make my first purchase second purchase see this hat that's fire right there i have found a cib playstation 3 that is backwards compatible for 250 bucks i saw the same console cib in here for a 580 more than double so i'm gonna go in purchase that and then when i get back home I have a PS1 and a PS3 for sale because I can play any game from the first three generations on that one console. All right guys, so here's the PlayStation 3 I bought. As you can see, backwards compatible, plays PlayStation 1, 2, and 3. The box is not in the best shape, but it's still the box. These are hard to come by right now. I bought this for $250. Price charting, I'm popping it up right now, is around $287 for this and the uh the system but we're gonna open it up this thing looks nice and clean that right there is a very nice looking system you can tell it's backwards compatible by them four usb slots and the cool thing about this right here, if you want to lay it down, this PlayStation button right here, it'll turn up. If you turn it to the side, it'll flick down right there. That way, no matter how you got it, the PlayStation logo is always looking crisp and clean. Very happy with this purchase. We're going to get something else before we leave, but I don't know what it is, but it's off to a good start. So we have weekend passes, so we can come and go as much as we want and i mean we're only like 15 minutes away from retro rick's game point so we're hitting that up but aaron what are your uh, thoughts and opinions on it so far there's a lot of people there's a lot of people for the first year i feel like he's had a really good turnout i was kind of hoping for some retro toys for girls aka the barbie and i didn't see any so i was kind of disappointed on that but they had so many video games the old stuff you know, the, the retro stuff. So, that was nice. So far, though, having a good time. Uh, gonna go check out the store. Gonna see if I can get some games for the system. For PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2. Since I got a backwards compatible system now. So, that's where we're going now. Switch it!
All right, so my buddy Joey, my personal trainer, is a huge Stallone fan. I'm getting that game. If I don't, he would kick my butt. We're getting that Space Marine game. We're trading off this hunk of garbage, and we're gonna get that. All right, so we're gonna go over my purchases out of Retro Rick's Game Point. It never fails to amaze me, the kind of stuff that he has in there. Uh, first off, I told you we was picking this up. Joey, I got you. Next, since I just got that PlayStation Fat, let's go with an old school Splinter Cell, a little stealth game right there. And then uh, we're gonna keep it on the PlayStation 2 with Smackdown Shut Your Mouth. This is a fire game. I wish they had Here Comes the Pain with Brock Lesnar on the front, but they only had that loose and loose is still $30. Like, I don't know what makes that game so expensive. It is fun, but I mean, it's still a pretty expensive game. And then the most expensive thing I bought, why we like playing retro, we like playing some of the new stuff, is this right here, Space Marine 2 Warhammer. I've seen good stuff on this, and I had a great time here. Uh, this is all of my shopping for day one. We're gonna go back to the con tomorrow, and I am going to try to get Punisher on PlayStation 2 and if you've never seen that game oh my god you're missing out that game would not fly in today's society it is so brutal here's a look I caught a glimpse of heaven once they stole it from me this isn't vengeance Punishment. I never smile. But if I did, this would be it. Alright guys, we are walking in. Day two of the con. It is not near as packed as it was yesterday. So we'll see if there's any bargains to be had today. One of the most popular places all weekend at the convention was the free to play area. So you had all these retro consoles set up and then we move on to the arcades. There's my wife playing a little bit of Street Fighter, then she hitting up that Ninja Turtles action. Uh, we had a great time during this, but I could not let her have all the fun. I said, here, record me. I want to play. So, of course, I'm picking up the sticks, and we are taking Raphael, and she's just getting lots of footage of several of the arcades that they had all free, all weekend. It was completely busy the whole time of the convention there was always people in this area and it was just a fun place to relax and you heard people exchanging gaming stuff and even just complete strangers playing games with each other it was a great time I got some straight fire in this bag right here that I'll show you all in a little bit. It's good. All right, babe, we just finished up our first ever weekend of a gaming convention. What were your thoughts of day two? It was good. I'm glad we stayed for Retro Rick's panel. That was nice. It was cool to see that one six scale Batmobile from Austin and I's childhood. I wish it had been in a price range where I could have bought it for him, but it wasn't. But that was just cool to see some some more toys from my childhood today was much calmer in there there wasn't near as many people so you could actually really navigate and look through the booths so it was cool to find some stuff that brought up memories yeah uh my takeaways from day two over day one were uh yesterday was kind of chaotic there was a lot of people in there which is good for them because they did so good that they said before our panel started that they were going to do this again next year that they had such good success and uh my favorite part about the second day is I actually had time to walk and not be elbow to elbow. Once again, that's good for them for day one, but day two was a lot more chill. Got to talk to vendors. They're into the same stuff we are, and uh, they said they had a great experience for this being his first one, and uh, 
I just had a great time when we was walking out. I was kind of sad that it's over, but we got a four hour trip back home and we got to go pick up her little doggy. And uh, yeah, I had a great time. There'll be, uh, we'll talk more whenever I get home and I'll show you what fire I got in that bag. So when I last saw you all, I was walking out of the convention, holding up a bag saying that I had some straight fire in there. And I feel like it is. Y'all may not agree. It's my opinion. I'm not wrong. But I stopped on a, a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle that I ended up buying. This right here is a reproduction from 2021 that looks exactly like the very first Ninja Turtle that I had. Me and my twin Jason, I wanted Raphael, he wanted Leonardo. This was the first one I ever owned, was this one right here. It's not going to get open. When we got our first Ninja Turtles, it was the biggest argument on who the real leader was. Obviously, you can tell who I think it is. But that was the kind of stuff I enjoyed at this event. There was so many like old school toys and nostalgia. We come across a uh, Castle Grayskull playset for He-Man. And I just went into full story mode telling my wife, I used to have this. I had all these Skeletor. It was just a trip down memory lane, and I enjoyed the holy crap out of it. Moving on to my next purchase, Lord of the Rings, War in the North for PlayStation 3. I've never played this game whatsoever, but I love the Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings of Two Towers is my favorite Lord of the Rings movie. And then they had a deal. If you buy three, you get one free. That was a free one. And then I got Marvel Nemesis, Rise of the Imperfects. This game right here. I've never heard of this. And I am a huge comic book nerd. As you know, I'm wearing Spider-Man. And uh, the other two games will reflect the nerdness too. So moving on to the next one. This one was 50 bucks. Captain America for PlayStation 3. It's called Captain America Super Soldier. I never had this game. I've been shopping for this game for a hot minute. Only one vendor booth had this right here. This game... I cannot wait to play. I haven't even seen gameplay on footage on it. I just know I wanted to play it because I have Thor and I have the two Iron Man games on PlayStation 3. But the one that I am the most proud about is this bad boy right here. The one that I told you I wanted to get as soon as I got that PlayStation 3 that I bought at the con. The Punisher. And go ahead and check out that price tag there. 80 bucks for this game right here. Love this game. It's the first game I'm going to play as soon as I set that up. Because we are literally just now getting back. I don't know if you can hear it. The washer and dryer are running in the back. It's uh, Sunday evening. We got work week getting ready to come up. But wanted to show you all my purchases. Um, on the way back, me and my wife, we stopped to stretch my legs and get something to eat. And uh, I asked her what her favorite part was. And she said, getting to spend the weekend with me. And to go along with that, my favorite part of the whole weekend was... Walking through today, because today was day two, and it was a lot less crowded, and just seeing her glow by talking about all the stuff she grew up with, and when she saw something she thought was really cool, her face lighting up, and it was just good memories coming out. Just seeing all the stuff that we grew up with, and that's what these conventions are about, from what I understand. This is my first one. Uh, I will say this. I had a great time. I think I've been spoiled to the convention life. Um... From the time that we got into the convention, uh, there was a huge line outside that wrapped around the building, and we was a pretty far away from the entrance. It only took like two minutes to get in. Talked to uh, uh, Mike, which is Retro Rick's friend. We went to one of his panels. I'm popping up a picture right now. Uh, him and the people that do the Red Junk uh, channel, which popping up a picture of them right now, too. Uh, they did a, a panel, and that was the last thing I told my wife I wanted to do, and I'm so glad I set in on that. You kind of get a behind-the-scenes on how this went. I cannot wait for their content to come out on the behind-the-scenes stuff. They said there will be a video, and they said they did so successful on this that they're definitely doing one next year. So kudos for them. I'm happy it was a success. Uh, they had just cheap prices on the food. Like That, that was something that somebody said. We didn't eat there, but they didn't look ungodly. Like, they looked pretty normal. Um, the people were so friendly. Got to talk to some of the vendors today because it wasn't so busy. And just some really good people. I didn't have not one bad thing to say about the convention. I thought the people that ran it did a fire job. 
And uh, I had a great time. I was actually sad that we had to leave and come back to reality. And uh, I will leave you all with a picture slideshow of some of the pictures I took. And some of them have me and my wife and some of it's stuff that I saw in the con. And I will end you with the uh, bye. Make good choices. Let me know what you think in the comments.